This is my intro. This is my intro. Ugh. Don't be yourself for Halloween. Beyonce. What's up guys? It's Alexa and welcome back to my channel. So if you guys can't tell by this ridiculous costume and I guess by the video already, I am starting my Halloween series and I'm so excited. I will be DIYing Halloween costumes every week up until the last week right before Halloween. So if you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more videos like this. If you guys are returning, welcome my Navajos. And for those that don't know what this costume is, I'm recreating Beyonce's twin babies reveal photo shoot. Other than that, I just look like a really colorful None. If you guys want to learn how to make this costume, keep on watching. For this tutorial, you will need light blue mesh material. I'm going to be using organza because it was the cheapest. Blue satin, purple floral material. I tried to find one like Beyonce's, but this was the closest that I could find. A quarter inch elastic needle and thread. A clear hair comb. Shorts for reference. Fabric and paper shears. Marker and pen. Pins and a ruler and tracing paper. Start by folding a large piece of tracing paper in half and trace around your shorts. So I know Beyonce uses panties in her shoe, but I wanted to use something that was more appropriate for public, so I opted out for some high-waisted shorts. But honestly, if you guys want to use panties, go ahead, and you guys could probably find those at the store. It would just be so much easier to buy them versus making them. After you've traced your shorts, smooth out your lines with your ruler. I highly suggest adding a couple more inches to the side of your pattern because you'll be working with non-stretch material. So as you guys can see by both of these patterns, I revised it a little bit by adding a couple more inches to the side. Add half inch seam allowance on the bottom and the top of your pattern and quarter inch seam allowance everywhere else. Cut this pattern out on both pieces of paper. One will be your back and the other one will be your front. So for the front, remove one inch from the crotch seam and one inch from the side seam. You can now cut your patterns out of your satin material. You're going to need two pieces of each pattern. Flip your pieces around so that the right sides are kissing and sew along the curve to make your center front and your center back. Open the pieces up and sew the side seams and the crotch seam. Next, you're going to add a rolled hem half an inch wide to case your elastic band. Make sure to leave a 2 inch gap so that you can feed your elastic through later. You will also need to hem the bottom leg openings as well. I decided to do a quarter inch rolled hem, but you are more than welcome to just do a regular folded hem. Cut a piece of elastic that fits around your waist, pin one end to the opening and add a safety pin to the other end. Use the safety pin to help you feed your elastic through the tunnel. Once your elastic comes out the other end, sew both ends together and finish your rolled hem. I like to pin down the elastic so that I have a flat area to work with. So I'm pretty sure Beyonce is topless in her shoot, but you know, I'm not about that life. So I decided to whip up a quick bandeau using the same method that I used for the shorts elastic waistband. To make my sleeves, I cut two squares that were 23 inches wide and 25 inches long. Add a half inch rolled hem at the very top and a regular hem either rolled or folded at the very bottom. Mark up six and a half inches from the bottom and draw a line all the way across. Fold your piece in half at the line with the right sides kissing and then you're going to sew a stitch half an inch away from the fold to make a seam allowance tunnel for your elastic. Open your piece up so that the seam allowance is towards the back and then you're going to flatten the seam allowance down and sew a stitch across it to hold it down in place. Cut a piece of elastic that fits around your wrist and then you're going to thread that through the tunnel. Then you're going to cut another piece of elastic that fits around your arm and then thread that through the very top. You don't need to sew anything at this point, but just hold your elastic down in place with pins at both ends. Fold your piece in half with the right sides kissing and sew a seam all the way down to finish off your sleeve. For the remainder of the material that you have, find the longest edge and mark 8 inches away from both sides. Add a half inch rolled hem between those two mark points. Cut a piece of elastic that fits along your back from one armpit to another and thread that through the tunnel. Sew the elastic ends down with a small stitch. Hem the rest of the edges and sew the sleeves to the body with a small stitch. So for the veil, all I did was hem all around the edge of the material and then I found the center of one side and sewed the hair comb onto the center. It was fairly simple. Um, that's pretty much it for the costume. So now let's get our little twin babies. Hey guys, so I'm trying to find baby dolls for my costume. Don't know where they are. Hmm. I found them. 
They don't got naked babies? Come on. Like, I don't want babies with clothes on. I want naked babies. And I also don't want to spend $3 on a baby. These would be perfect, but they're $7. No, thank you. They work, right? <laughs> Taking my babies home. Let's stay you guys for this tutorial I'm actually gonna be posting two this week so definitely stay tuned for that one because it is going to be amazing I just gave you guys a clue so comment down below if you guys think you have an idea what the next one's gonna be by the way a dog ripped off like my whole middle finger nail so you guys are gonna see this nail with a bandage over it for like the next 10 videos because they tore open the base of my nail if you guys enjoy this Beyonce Halloween costume please give it a big thumbs up and if you guys want to connect with me on social media, all my socials are at The Nava Rose. And also, shout out to Daniel Wellington for this gorgeous watch. I have a coupon code that will be in the description box down below so you guys can use that for some money off your order. Oh, and happy belated birthday to Christine. That's all I have for you guys for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Oh, 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 oh,